Now, when we go to the Grand Canyon, which is an astonishing place, and I recommend to everybody in the world to someday visit the Grand Canyon, you find layer upon layer of ancient rocks. And if there was this enormous flood that you speak of, wouldn't there have been churning and bubbling and roiling? How would these things have settled out? Your claim that they settled out in an extraordinary short amount of time is for me not satisfactory. You can look at these rocks, you can look at rocks that are younger, you can go to seashores where there's sand. This is what geologists on the outside do, study what, uh, the rate at which soil is deposited at the end of rivers and deltas, and we can see that it takes a long, long time for sediments to turn to stone. Also, in this picture, you can see where one type of sediment has intruded on another type. Now, if that was uniform, wouldn't we expect it all to be even without intrusion? Furthermore, you can find places in the Grand Canyon where you see an ancient riverbed on that side going to an ancient riverbed on that side, and the Colorado River has cut through it. And by the way, if this great flood drained through, through the Grand Canyon, wouldn't there have been a Grand Canyon on every continent? How could we not have Grand Canyons everywhere if this water drained away in this extraordinary short amount of time, 4,000 years? Now, when you look at these layers carefully, you find these beautiful fossils. And when I say beautiful, I am inspired by them. They're remarkable because we are looking at the past. You find down low, you'll find what you might consider as uh, rudimentary sea animals. Up above, you'll find the famous trilobites. Above that, you might find some clams, some oysters. And above that, you'll find some mammals. You never, ever find a higher animal mixed in with a lower one. You never find a lower one trying to swim its way to the higher one. If it all happened in such an extraordinary short amount of time, if this water drained away just like that, wouldn't we expect to see some turbulence? And by the way, anyone here, really, if you can find one example of that, one example of that anywhere in the world, the scientists of the world challenge you. They would embrace you. You would be a hero. You would change the world if you could find one example of that anywhere. People have looked and looked and looked. They have not found a single one. 